Now, the next question said three boys shared a, um, like they, they shared D and D is actually 10,500 in value. They shared it in a ratio of 6, ratio 7, ratio 8. Are you seeing that now? So they now said find the largest share. That is, find the largest share out of all of these. It's very simple. The first thing that you want to do is to add up the ratio. So 6 plus 7, 13. 13 plus 8, 21. Then I said find the largest share. And obviously the largest share is the ratio 8. So you do your normal division. 8 over 21. The share over the total ratio multiplied by the what property? 10,500. So if you punch your calculator, 8, 8 divided by 21, multiplied by 10,500, what you have is 4,000. 4,000. Yes, and that's our option A in the question. Very simple and straightforward. Alright, so the next question says, a length of a piece of stick is 1.75 meter originally. That's the length. But they said a boy measured it as 180. So we measured it at 1.0 meter. Then I said find the percentage error. Now this question I've tried to solve the ball. Um there's there's a I'm having a little confusion in the um breakdown. So if you are um if you are clear with that question, please do well to post your answers in the um, comment section so that we can also learn from you. Now let's move to the next question, which is number 13. Now, number 13 says, um, they gave us an equ um, equation 5x minus 3y equals to 2. So, if you look at these um, equations now, they expect us to get x and y. They now gave us that if we've gotten x and y, what is the value of 25x squared minus 9y squared? That's the question. So they, ask, they expect us to find x and y. Now, if you look at equation 2, let me start with equation 2. Um, 5x minus 2 equals to 3y. Let 3y cross the cos to sign. So y can be equal to 5x minus 2 divided by 3. So I want to input this um, um, equation that stands for y that represents y in equation 1. I want you to replace this y here. So what I have is 5x plus 3, open brackets, 5x minus 2 over 3 equals to 4. Now here, when I inputted 5x minus 2 over 3 in equation 1, I should have 5x plus 5 times, I mean 3 times 5x, 15x, minus 3 times 2, 6 over 3 equals to 4. So I've corrected that here. So if you continue with your solvings, 15x plus 15x, 30x minus 6 equals to 12. 30x equals to 18. x equals to 18 over 30 equals to 9 over 15. Then if you divide on, what you have is 3 over 5. So x equals to 3 over 5. So you want to input that um, x equals to 3 over 5. You want to input it back in equation 1. You want to input it back in no you want to input it back in equation two in equation two all right so our equation two now which is 5x minus 3y equals to 2 we've gotten that our um x is 3 over 5 so we input it here 3 over 5 minus 3y equals to 2 here we'll be able to get y so 15 over 5 minus 3y equals to 2 now this one can cross to the other side. 15 over 5 minus 2 over 1 equals to 3y. So you find the LCM 5. 5 in 5, 1. 1 times 15, 15. Minus 1 and um, 5. How many? 5 divided by 1, 5. 5 times 2, 10. Over, equals to 3y. So from here now you can see 5 over 5 equals to 3y. 1 equals to 3y. 1 equals to 3y, then y automatically will be equals to 1 over 3. So we have x to be what now? 3 over 5. We have y to be 
1 over 3. Now let's go to our main question. So the question now says we should evaluate 25x squared minus 9y squared. Meanwhile, our x is 3 over 5 and our y is 1 over 3. So now you can input this into this place and get your answer. So 25 open bracket 3 over 5 squared minus 9 open bracket 1 over 3 square. That's 25 times 3 square 9 over 5 square 25 minus 9 times 1 square 1 over 3 square 9. 25 will cancel 25. 9 will cancel 9. What we have remaining is 9 minus 1, which is 8. And that's the option D in the question. You can see that these questions are steady and easy. Now, the next question says, Mary has more, Mary has $3 more than Ben. Now, but $5 less than Jane. If Mary has X dollars, now, Mary money is X dollars. Then I said, Mary's money is three times more than Ben. It means to get Ben money, you have to subtract three dollars from Mary's money to so you to get Ben money. Since Mary's money is three dollars more than Ben's money, and then I said, uh, but five dollars less than Jane. Mary has five dollars less than Jane. It means you have to add up five dollars with Mary's money to so be able to get Jane's money because Jane's money should be five times more than Mary's money. You get now. So they now said, what is the um, summation or how much does Jane and Ben money's cost together? This is Jane, this is Ben. So if you add them up, X plus 5 plus X plus 3. Straightforward. You just, um no, this is X minus 3. So you just collect like terms, you group them, then you solve. X plus X, 2X. 5 minus 3 plus 2. So, that's what we have. 2x plus 2. And that is D in the question. Please. Now, number 15 is um, um, a topic under um, true statements and logical statements and the rest of them. Um, I will advise you, I will um, link that question in the description. So, you can check it in the description. It's going to be in the description box. Check it. And um, if you have the answer with you, you can give it to us in our comment section. We'll be glad to have that answer also now number 16 says um what value of p we make x square minus 4x plus p a perfect square it's very easy the number that makes the equation a perfect square is the half is the square of the half of the coefficient of x what do i mean now x square minus 4x this p i want to um isolate it for instance, assuming there was an equals to sign that was equating it to zero, I will have moved it over to make it minus p. Now, I want to find the square of the half of the coefficient of x. The coefficient of x is 4. So, x squared minus 4x plus half, then square. I'll do the same for the other side, plus 4 over 2 square. Now, I don't want to solve more for that. Basically, what do we need? They say, what number will make it the perfect square? Obviously, the number that will make it the perfect square is the coefficient of x. The coefficient of x will make it the perfect square. And what is the coefficient of x? 4. So, our answer is 4. And that's the option C in the question. Okay, so, they said, I call number 17 now. This is the question. They said, 1 over x plus 4 over 3 minus 5 over 6 plus 1. They say find the value of x such that this equation is 0. So that means they are equating it to 0 indirectly. But they didn't tell us. They only give us this equation. They said find the value of x that this um, expression equals to 0. Now, very simple. Just keep solving till you get your isolated x as your answer. So, in order to save time, what I just did basically when I have this question like this is just to um, find um, a joint um, LCM. So, the LCM of all of them now, I can use 6x because 6x goes for all of them. x in 6x, 6. 6 times 1, 6. How do I know? If x should cancel x, what will be left? 6. 6 times 1, 6. Plus 3x in 6x is 2. 2 times 4, 8. Minus 6x in 6x, 1. 
1 times 5, 5 plus 1 equals to 0. You will not include this 1, please. Don't include it. Plus 1. Now, so 6x plus, I mean 6 plus 8, 14 minus um, 5, basically. So 6 plus 8 minus 5 will give us 9. So 9 over 6x equals to, I've moved this plus 1 to the other side. So when I move the plus 1 to the other side, it's become minus 1. So if I cross multiply, what I have is 9 equals to minus 6x. So we have to be equals to um, minus 9 over 6 automatically. So and that's our um, answer. So if you divide continually, what you have is 3 over 2 minus. And that's our C in the question. I hope you can see that right there. So now they said k equals to root m open bracket t minus p all over no they said k equals to m open root t minus p over r this thing is as simple as what you can imagine just um, um square both sides so when you square both sides you square both sides like this what you have is k square equals to m square times t minus p over r because the square we cancel the square root for this part this square we cancel the square root and this square multiply m so what do you do maybe we should divide we should um cross multiply first yes let's cross multiply first so if you cross multiply what you have is k square i mean r k square equals to m square square times t minus p we can divide both sides by m square divide both sides by m square so that what we have left is um r k squared over m square equals to t minus p and they said we should use t as subject of formula so we can um add p to both sides so if we add p to both sides, p we cancel p, then you have t equals to what now? p plus r k square all over m square. And that is our a option of the question. You can check that. Now the next question number 19 says, um, we should look for the value of y. In this question now the first thing i did was that since um this is um I, um an isosceles triangle so to say in which the base angles are equal so let me just put alpha here alpha here both angles are equal and you know that all angles in a triangle is 180 so it's very safe to say i want to find this alpha first alpha um plus alpha plus 130 equals to 180 this plus this plus this in a triangle should give you 180. So, 2 alpha plus 130 equals to 180. 2 alpha equals to 180 minus 130. So, alpha should give you 50 over 2, which is 25. So, this is 25. Let me erase this. This is 25. This is 25. So, you can now find y to just subtract it so when you subtract 25 from 180 you should have your answer the reason why i did that was because the angle on a straight line is 180 so if the angle on a straight line is 180 and a portion of the straight line is already 25 the remaining portion should give you your y and that's 155 degree and that's our d option of the question you can also check your um, question for more clarification okay now then i said an exterior angle of a regular polygon the exterior angle of a regular polygon is 25 find the number of sides now they said the polygon is regular i did, I did I, at first i didn't um recollect the kind of formula to use but i just reasoned the question that since it is um since the um, the number of sides since the number of sides is what they are asked they, they asked us 
and they said exterior angle is 22.5 and they said it is a regular polygon that means no side has more angles than each other so what i did was basically since the total um angles in a polygon is 360 i just did 360 divided by 22.5 it will be equally distributed around the polygon so if i do 360 divided by 22.5 what i have is 16 so it means there are 16 sides of the polygon it means 16 sides equally have their angles exteriorly at 22.5 and that 16 sides happens to be d i don't know whether i'm wrong please if you if you find um if you find a, a a more correct answer please let me know in the comment section so that we can do well to um grow together